Welcome back. Let's continue. Okay, now, the other day, el otro día, the other day, I was talking about how long does it take? ¿Cuánto se tarda? Okay, vamos por partes. Uh, now, this time, I'm not going to explain anything. I'm simply going to start using the um, verb. And I'm also going to use the verb to last, durar. Okay, let's get started. Now, number one. How long does it take? How long does it take to fly from Madrid to New York? It takes seven hours to fly from Madrid to New York. How long does it take to sail around the world? I don't know. I think it takes about two months in a big cruiser, a cruise liner, to sail around the world. How long does it take to fly around the world? It's 40,000 kilometers around the world. The circumference of the Earth is 40,000 kilometers, so it takes probably mm, 20 hours to fly around the world. No, more, more, more. It takes about 30 hours probably to fly around the world. More, more. It takes 40 hours. I don't know. You tell me, how long does it take to fly around the world without refueling? Is it possible? to fly around the world sin recargar, sin recargar, de combustible. Is it possible to fly around the world without refueling? To refuel is re recargar combustible. Okay. Fuel is combustible. Fijaos en la pronunciación. Aquí decís, decís fuel. Okay. Gasoleo, fuel. Fuel. Fuel is un combustible. It can be many types. It can be diesel fuel, gasoline, and other types, fuel, few, como unos, unos pocos. I have a few problems with this book, a few fuel, okay? So, is it possible to fly around the world without refueling? How long would it take? Condicional. How long would it take to fly around the world if we could do it in a jumbo jet without refueling? How long does it take? to go from Madrid to Seville on the fast bullet train, train bala, the bullet train. I think it takes two hours and 15 minutes, two hours and a quarter, two hours and 15 minutes to go from Madrid to Seville by train. How long does it take to travel by ave, by bullet train from Madrid to Cordoba? Well, I think it takes about an hour and 45 minutes. Okay, an hour and 45 minutes. How long does it take to drive? Uh, from Madrid to Alicante. I don't know. Five hours? Maybe, yeah, it takes five hours. How long does it take to walk from the, from the port in Barcelona to the university on the Diagonal? Poof, probably takes about two hours. How long does it take to walk from the top of the Ramblas to the bottom of the Ramblas? Well, if you're walking briskly and not looking at the, the different items on the, on the Ramblas, it takes about 20 minutes, maybe. How long does it take to walk from the port to the Plaza de Catalunya in Barcelona, up the Ramblas? Well, it takes about 25 minutes because it's uphill. How long does it take to walk from Sibeles to Colón in Madrid? It takes about seven or eight minutes. It takes, it takes, it takes, it takes, it takes. How long does it take? How long does it take me to shave? It takes me five minutes to shave. How long does it take me to comb my hair? Well, it takes me about a minute to comb my hair. How long does it take the makeup artist? How long does it take Irene to put on the makeup every day for this program? It takes her. Ahora estoy personalizando a quien tarda. Quien tarda en estas cosas. It takes Irene about six or seven minutes to put on the makeup. How long does it take me to prepare this a class every day? Well, it takes me about a, a minute to decide what to do. Okay. How long did it take me to learn Spanish? It took me three years and 3,000 hours of work to learn Spanish. Okay. Uh, how long did it take me to get ready for work this morning? This morning it took me about 20 minutes to get ready for work. Well, it took me an hour and a half in all, okay? Uh, how long does it take me to wake up in the morning? It takes me usually about five to 10 minutes to wake up completely in the morning. 
How long does it usually take me to go to sleep at night? It depends. If I'm really sleepy, it takes me uh, less than a minute. I get into bed, I get into bed, lay my head on the pillow, and in less than you can say Tom, Dick, and Harry, I'm asleep, okay? But sometimes it takes me longer. Sometimes it takes me five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, it depends. Today, question, how long will it take you to fall asleep or to go to sleep today? Probably today it will take me less than a minute because I'm sleepy, I'm tired today, yeah. I got up very early. I didn't sleep well last night, so I imagine, me imagino, I imagine that it will take me no time. Un santiamen. It will take me no time to fall asleep tonight. To go to sleep, to fall asleep. Dormirse uno is to go to sleep. All right, caer dormido. To go to sleep or to fall asleep. Okay. To fall asleep often is uh, unintentional. You don't want to fall asleep. For example, el, mi compañero de clase se durmió, o el profesor de, se durmió en la clase. He fell asleep. En este caso, fall, porque es no intencional. Now, to go to sleep is because you want to go to sleep. So, me acosté anoche, pero no me pude dormir. I went to bed last night, but I couldn't go to sleep. I couldn't go to sleep. Aquí se admite fall asleep sin problema. But if you're sitting in a class or you're watching me, now, and if you find me so boring that you fall asleep, and I say, hey, wake up, don't fall asleep, don't fall asleep on the teacher, okay? Not on me. I don't allow my students to fall asleep on me. In my classes, my students don't fall asleep. So even if it's midnight now, sit up straight, eh? keep your back straight. Okay, don't slouch. Keep your back straight. Open your eyes. Pay attention. Concentrate and stay awake. Don't fall asleep. Okay, this program only lasts two hours. And this segment of the program only lasts 25 minutes. Can you stay awake for the next 15 minutes? I think we have 15 minutes left. I think we have 15 minutes left. Nos quedan. We have, nosotros tenemos 15 minutos dejados, literalmente, left. De dejar, abandonar. We have 15 minutes left. Can you stay awake for the next 15 minutes? The rest of this class only lasts 15 minutes. The whole class lasts 25 minutes. But now, the remainder of the class lasts only 15 minutes. So try to stay awake. Please don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. Even though I repeat many, many things, I repeat them for a purpose. I repeat them so you hear them again and again and again and again. And finally, you begin to assimilate and you reproduce these things automatically. You say, anda, he dicho algo en inglés que nunca he dicho en mi vida. Será por mi amigo Richard. Porque lo machaca hasta la saciedad en el, la televisión. Y se me va quedando. Yes, I'm starting to understand things better, and I'm starting to reproduce different expressions or words that I've never used. Perhaps I recognize them when I read them, but they are not part of my active vocabulary. And now, yes, thanks to the television, uh, thanks to Aprendi Inglés Tuve, and thanks to my new teacher, Richard, okay? But it will take you a long time. It will take you a long time. Now, it took me I repeat, three years to learn Spanish. It took me two years to learn how to teach English well. It took me about a month to learn how to teach English. But to learn how to teach English well, hmm, that took me two years at least. And to learn to teach English like a master, well, it took me at least 10 or 15 years. It takes a long time. To become a master at anything takes a long time. Okay, now in the last class, I finished the water in this cup. Uh, before the, during the break, they added some more water and it took me, I think an hour to, uh, 
to finish this cup of water. Yes. And it took me about 25 minutes to come here today. Yes. I came here by car. I drove and I parked next to the uh, studio. I have a place just for me. Eh? I have a I'm a, I have certain privileges because I'm the star of the show today. Uh, and it, but it took me 25 minutes. Now, last Friday, it took me an hour to come because everybody was leaving the city at the same time. And I said, oh my God, look at the traffic. My God, I'm going to be late. I'm going to be late. Voy a llegar tarde. En español, llegáis tarde. En inglés, estamos tarde. So somos, yeah. To be late. No llegues tarde. Se dice en inglés, don't be late. Don't be late, okay? And last Friday, it took me an hour to get here. Today, it took me only 25 minutes, okay, to take. Now, how long does it take the president of a government to learn his job or her job? All right. For example, the current president in Spain is a person who... Um, it took him probably a year to learn everything. It takes time to learn new jobs. Okay, it takes time. How long did it take John Kennedy to learn his job when he became president? It took him a long time. It took him, it took him, it took him. So, to take. It takes me five minutes to shave. It takes me two minutes to brush my teeth. It takes me five minutes to shower or to have a shower. It takes me five minutes to get dressed. It takes me half a minute to put on my shoes and tie my shoes. It takes me 10 or 20 seconds to say goodbye to my wife, and it takes me about half a minute to leave the house. It takes me five minutes to walk to my car. It takes me 15 minutes to get to my first job, my first class. Okay, it takes me, it takes me. Now, it took me seven months living in Spain to understand Castilian Spanish. It took me seven months living in this country to say, I understand Spanish more or less perfectly. It's impossible to understand perfectly because you don't even, you even have moments you said, can't you all right? And you don't understand, but it took me seven months living here. And when I came here, when I came to Spain, I had a relatively good level, no, I had an intermediate level of Spanish when I came to Spain. I was 20 years old and I had an intermediate level, y aún así, and still, still, además de todavía, y además de quieto, significa aún así. Curioso, la palabra still. Yo recuerdo una lista. I remember, many years ago, I saw a list, las palabras más corrientes en inglés. The most common word in the English language is is, is. It's the third person singular of the verb to be. This is a book. This is a microphone. This is a cup. This is a pin. This is a hand, my hand, to be precise. But the 12th word, number 12 in the list of common words, the most commonly used words, how many times they appear, was the word still. And I was uh, still, my God. These words is, it, and, but, yes, no, still. Still? I don't know why. But still means todavía. Todavía estoy aquí. I'm still here. I haven't finished the program yet, which means I'm still here. I'm holding the microphone. Yeah. And now, I'm still holding the microphone. And now, yeah, I'm still holding the microphone. I haven't stopped holding the microphone yet. I'm still holding it. Now I'm not holding the microphone anymore. I'm moving it, okay? Away from me, not towards me. Away from me, okay? Still, and still means quietos. Estaros quietos, queréis? Be still, will you? Will you, will you? El verbo auxiliar del futuro, will. Will you is, quieres escucharme? Escúchame, quieres? Listen to me, will you? Sit down, will you? Be still. Estaros quietos. Sit still. Will you? Okay. Still means quieto. And still means aún así. I came here to Spain 
when I was 20 years old for the first time, and I had an intermediate level of Spanish. I had taken Spanish for six years in secondary school in the States. Y aún así. And still, no cafe onda al llegar. I didn't understand a soul, ni un alma, ni un alma, nadie. I didn't understand anybody. People in Spain were saying, tira pa'lante, y pa'lante, que significa pa'lante? O sea, es para adelante. Ah, people speak this way. You make natural contractions. Comes palabras, sílabas, letras, it's everything. Esto, 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 okay? And I didn't understand this. And it took me, I guarantee you, it took me seven months living here to say, pan comido. It's a piece of cake. Finally, I can understand Spanish people. I can understand people from Catalonia, from Galicia, from Andalusia, from Extremadura, from Valencia, from Teruel, from Soria, uh, even from Berro Calejo in uh, Cáceres. Okay. Yes, a friend. I have a friend from there. Yes, it took me a long time. It took me seven months. So imagine how long it's going to take you living in Spain where English is not spoken. You need to find access to the English language. You need to find access to the language. You will never learn English attending English class. Está bien la clase de inglés. Pero es el paralelismo que expliqué otro día de nadar siempre en la parte que no cubre. Entonces ya sabes que en cualquier momento te puedes poner de pie y no tragas agua. Okay? Así cualquiera. Anybody can attend an English class because the English teacher speaks to you about the present perfect, about the simple past, about the future, about the going to future, about the conditional, and the teacher is asking questions or explaining things that are very technical. Now, the present perfect is formed by the verb, the auxiliary verb to have, and by the past participle of the verbs. I have seen, I have written, I have drunk. I have put, I have looked, I have pointed, okay? Now I'm going to point at the other camera. When I count three, one, two, three, I'm going to point to that camera, camera number one. One, two, three. Now I'm pointing at camera number one, okay? I have, that's the present perfect. And then the teacher, if the teacher is good, will drill you. It's necessary to gain good habits. Have you put the pen on the table today? Have you seen? Have you seen my wife today? Have you spoken to the president of Spain today? Have you flown to Mongolia this week? Have you taken an aspirin today? Have you drunk a um, cup of water today? Have you spoken into a microphone today? And so the teacher is speaking to you within a verb structure, okay, in order to practice, and it's necessary. But it's not a listening comprehension reto. No es un reto auditivo. ¿Cómo se dice reto en inglés? Challenge. Okay, no es un desafío auditivo. It's not a listening challenge, okay? And besides, and besides, y además, and besides, siempre quiero ir la S al final de esa palabra, cuando es además, porque si no significa al lado de, this microphone is beside me. And besides, an English teacher is not a real person. An English teacher speaks high resolution English, like me. It's easy to understand me. Why? Because I'm not speaking English. I'm speaking classroom English. Okay, classroom English. And do you know what happens sometimes, many times, for example, I'm in a classroom. I'm teaching three people. I'm in the, and we're practicing, for example, the present perfect, okay? And one of, another teacher knocks on the door and opens it. I said, yes, opens the door for a moment and says something to me. And I answer. And the teacher leaves. And the students say, what did you say? What did he say? I didn't understand a word. Why? Because me, as a teacher, and the other person as a teacher, we switched, we changed from classroom English to English, to the real language. So remember, your teacher cannot give you what you need the most. 
listening comprehension, and confidence when speaking. Because remember, the classroom is a flight simulator. Donde si te estrellas, no mueres en un simulador de vuelo. If you crash, you don't die in the classroom. And the classroom is the shallow part of the swimming pool, where if you start to get water up your nose, si empiezas a tragar agua, te pones de pie, y ya está. You stand up and, ah, no problem. That's the classroom. You will never master my language with an English teacher or with a method or with a classroom. You have to do it yourself, exposing your ear. Now, when I came to Spain, I'm going to explain it on another camera. Camera number three, okay? Are you ready? One, two, three. There we are. When I came to Spain, it took me seven months Seven months to understand. Now, during those seven months, I'm sure nobody spoke to me. I'm sure I didn't receive more than 100 hours of direct conversation. Somebody speaking to me or watching television and paying attention to the news, to a documentary or to a game show. Like Un, Dos, Tres, Respondo, Tres is a game show, a game show. or a movie on TV. I'm sure I didn't spend in those seven months more than 100 hours directly receiving information from a person or from a platform like television or radio. The rest of the inputs, those inputs, the rest of the inputs were indirect. In the subway or metro, in the metro, in the underground, in the bus, in the street, in the restaurants, okay? In the classrooms, here the language, the Spanish language was floating in the atmosphere everywhere I went. So it was constant ronroneo del español en mi alrededor. And so presto, in seven months, suddenly I was understanding. Okay? And you don't have that opportunity. You don't have that possibility. Okay? Because you live in Spain after this class. The moment I stop and I say goodbye, you switch to another channel and it's Spanish. Or you turn off the television and in your house it's Spanish. Unless, of course, you continue watching the next program after this, which I recommend. But nevertheless, you don't have time to watch this TV channel 24 hours a day or even seven hours a day. It's a lot of time. So uh, you don't have the same advantage I had when I came to Spain when I was 20 years old. You don't have the same advantage. You don't. You don't have the same advantage. So you have to create around you. You have to surround yourself, rodearte a ti mismo. Decimos en inglés. You have to surround yourself with the English language, auditivo. Okay? And you can do other things. You can surf the web reading in Spanish, I don't care, but keep the noise of the English language. I remember when I was uh, learning French, I spent every Saturday and Sunday, I bought the newspaper, the Spanish newspaper, okay? Not the French, not a French newspaper. And on Saturday morning and Sunday morning, I spent two hours reading practically everything in the newspaper, in the supplement, in the magazine, etc. And at the same time, I had headphones on. I had headphones on. Tenía puesto cascos. I had headphones on with French going in uh, from tapes I had, cassette tapes. I was reading Spanish. I wasn't paying attention to the French. But it was an indirect hearing. Audición indirecta. No escucha. Uh, directa. And after about six months of doing this, I said, Anda, entiendo mucho mejor francés, ¿por qué será? There are ways. Hay que buscar bajo las piedras las formas de resolver este tema del inglés. Y tan difícil no es si uno tiene o pone voluntad, esfuerzo, y sobre todo ilusión. Y esa ilusión es mi trabajo. Para hacer que tengas ilusión y motivación para resolver este tema. Good luck. And I will be here. I will come back. I will continue to sermon you. I will continue to teach you. I will continue to talk to you, to convince you, to implore you, to beg you, as to suplicar de rodillas. Please make an effort. 
to learn English. Por favor, ayúdame en esto. Sois mis cómplices en esto de aprender inglés. Necesito vuestra ayuda. So, study. All right, help me. Thanks a lot, and see you next week. Bye-bye.